John Paulian is a writer, an academic and a recognised authority in the area of New Testament studies. I asked him where he thought helpful dialogue between Muslims and Christians might begin. I think without question the best place to start uh, between a Christian and a Muslim is at the level of spiritual life. If there is one thing that Muslims can teach the entire Christian world, it is about regularity and faithfulness in prayer. Uh, it's inspiring, you know, and you go to the Middle East and you hear the call to prayer and, and you realize there are thousands of people in this community who, who are taking their attention off the everyday things and putting their attention upon God. I think that's just totally awesome. And that can be a tremendous inspiration uh, and, and a blessing to Christians. Uh, in turn, uh, Christians have often uh, put flesh, so to speak, on that relationship with God. God is more personal. God is more accessible uh, in, in the New Testament context of things. So I think Muslims who, uh, who engage Christians on spiritual issues uh, will find that, that there are tools and directions there that can help them uh, get a stronger handle on, uh, on what God is doing in their lives as well. So I would encourage uh, Muslims and Christians in their conversation with each other to, uh, to go to the, to the core spiritual issues. Uh, there's a tendency whenever Muslims and Christians come together of going to the hot button issues, going into the argument, and, and you know we've mentioned that, that, that this includes issues of, of, of how you get right with God, of, of uh, the greatness of Jesus, and so forth. Uh, it's easy to get fighting about those things in a hurry, but when people of different faiths argue with each other, they both tend to clam up. They tend not to learn and not to grow, and they become confirmed sometimes uh, in, in the worst of their own thinking. I think when you, when you speak openly to each other and, and you have a heart open to God's leading, uh, there can be learning going both ways. So I would encourage, um, you know, if a Muslim comes to a Christian and says, yeah, what do you think of Jesus and stuff like that, I would rather, rather than try to answer that question, which will lead to an argument, I'd rather say, you know, that's an interesting topic. I think we could enjoy talking about that sometime, but right now I'm more interested in asking this question, how has prayer changed your life? You see, and that invites the Muslim to testify of what God has done in his life. It then gives the Christian the opportunity to also testify on the same point, and point in which uh, they will find uh, they have a lot in common. And uh, out of that spiritual walk together, both, I think, will find things that uh, will help them learn and grow. This is Kent Kingston reporting for Avondale College.